Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy! I actually started this episode already, and then I had a crash in my recording software. So, we're starting that again. Hopefully, I have remembered things. I actually took time between these two episodes trying to repeat some of the plots and plans I had come up with last time, so I'll catch up with that in a moment here. But, it is June of 1947. World War II has been raging on for quite some time now. The Axis have control of all of mainland Europe, Asia, Africa, uh, quite a bit of the islands over here as well. We haven't uh, considered touching the United States at this time. I am focusing on the UK over here, the UK. We're going to try to do some sort of uh, some sort of naval or marine invasion of England here. I'm going to have it codenamed something like, oh, I don't know, E-Day. E-Day is coming. Uh, the Scandinavian Peninsula is finally starting to be cleaned up here, thanks in part to my um, my marine invasion of uh, of Sweden here. I think we've pulled all our troops out of here, haven't we? No, no, I still have some somewhere. Who dat? Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. You don't have much in the way of fuel. Where's the rest of the troops? Uh, hang on. There, there. Ah, up there, and not moving. I know you. Okay, yeah, everyone is in is engaged in a combat. We'll probably pull our tanks out relatively soon. Manpower is getting quite low. Um, so what's the plan going forward? Well, I've restructured some of my planes here. I've uh, pulled some of them out of uh, of the UK. I've gone back to uh, pure night bombings over here. So we're going to be doing tactical bomber port strikes and strategic bombers, some strategic bombing over here, supported by some amount of jet fighters over here as well. Uh, but I've pulled a lot of guys back to the English Channel because I'm going to be sending some ships through here relatively soon. I've gone through and checked my navy. I've reallocated a lot of people over here to Brittany. Uh, right now, there are literally no ships parked over here, but I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of them uh, over there, uh, including these guys. Yeah, so I'm a little worried. I don't actually personally have an air presence in the Eastern North Sea, but... One of my allies does, apparently. I don't know who it is. I can't see their planes. Uh, we don't have much in the way of radar coverage, which might actually be a really good idea. It just occurred to me. Oh, I can't. Right, because this is Germany, and Germany's not building radar stations along their coast. And it's probably German airplanes buzzing around over there. So, yeah, I'm going to try to pull back with uh, with these ships, actually. Destroy combat, so that's fine. So we're going to do that. I think I'm going to unpause. I'm going to go down to speed two. I've also gone and in France here, this uh, this previous sort of purple army um, has been stripped of most of its infantry type units. And they have been very heavily turned over to being marines. Should have them like join the garrison for a little while. Um, and I'm also training them up because when you switch division types, they tend to lose experience points. And so I would like them to be trained up as much as possible. I've also grabbed four people here, which are going to be paratroopers. Okay, Peru. Um, so again, they're training up to try to bring their experience points back up. I mean, this one here is fine, but I think it'd be worth doing. And what I think we're going to do, I don't know if this is going to work, but what I think I'm going to do is try to surround one of these ports rather than land right on the port itself so either Plymouth or Portsmouth 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 probably Portsmouth whatever port s mouth it's it's yeah anyway um I'll probably do something like a naval invasion to the left and right and maybe a paratrooper behind get a nice surround and have them all focus on hitting there because landing on the ports themselves might be tough but the other thing to check out is what's the yeah, see, there's another thing. Coastal Fort. There's a level 2 Coastal Fort in Portsmouth itself, but none in the surroundings. Plymouth has a level 2, but none in the surroundings. Um, with Plymouth, there's two territories in the back. I mean, I would still, as long as I took these two provinces here, I would cut off these guys from easy supply routes. I mean, certainly they could still resupply themselves via the sea. But we're actually going to have control over the sea zone here, hopefully, so we'll be able to cut off any kind of um, supply run. So I think that's the idea, is to go into Cornwall here. Uh, what level airport is this? It's only level 6. Still, they might be using it for some stuff. There's also a radar station there, denying that might be helpful. So yeah, that's the, that's the general idea I'm going for. Uh, we don't have any naval invasion warnings right now. Very low supplies over here, yeah. I'm going to bring these tanks home soon. Now, some of these guys are, right, still doing that, which isn't really doing much. 
Okay, Ace Pilot, great. It's this set of tanks here that I'll really be looking to bring home at some point. Northern France, naval invasion. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Where's it telling me, though? It's saying Brittany and Loire. Loire's down. Wait, where's Loire? There. Say. <laughs> There's not much between Poitou and uh, Brittany. It's just two provinces on the coast. So maybe they'll do something. Maybe they won't. I mean, we still have a naval presence here. We don't have um, we don't have much of a naval presence actually off the uh, the coast, the western coast of France, or what used to be France. But we've got plenty over here, and we do still have some airplane presence over here. Uh, just fighters mostly, but hopefully we can get some spotting. So they've damaged a couple of my planes. Oh. They've got 2,000 fighters in here now. The Americans are doing stuff. Still nothing here. We still have 100% radar coverage. So do they. Which I don't think they had earlier. So I think they've been upgrading things. Oh. That's my fleet here. Which was trying to get out over this way. Um... Let's get some naval bombers and a handful of fighters. I don't know if they'll get there in a relevant amount. Did I not grab the naval bombers? Oh, no coverage. Sign an air base that's not maxed. There we go, like that. You and you. Go there, and then into there. You probably won't redeploy in time. I should have given these guys a commander as well. I should have given them a commander with blockade running to be able to escape better. What happened? Oh! That worked out fine! Ooh, Nationalist Spain coming in with some bombers. I mean, we lost two destroyers and a light cruiser, but we sank a battle cruiser and a level 3 carrier. That is nothing to sneeze at. So it's the Amer- wait, I thought we were seeing British flags before. Maybe there were British people involved, but it's only the Americans that got sunk. Um, so yeah, you're going to be going through this sea zone, which... So, okay, they're killing some stuff. What, what what was this? It only shows me having lost a destroyer, the Origo, which is over here. What's, what was the Corzor, the Aerodino? Am I losing ships over here? I don't know. Um, but I guess I can probably take all these guys. I'm not going to take all of them. I'll leave one set of bombers and fighters over there. But I'll move you two back over this way. And then also have to find out anyone who, yeah, doesn't have any range. And see if we can stick you somewhere a little bit closer. Uh, while still having some capacity. These aren't my... Oh, interwar fighters. So Normandy's got some room. Still got some room. But we'll reevaluate re after this. Yeah, lacking range. De Calais. I don't want it to rebase all, because it'll move everyone to, like, a nearby thing, I think. Or maybe it'll only move the ones that don't have the range. Oh, you're already in Pas de Calais, and you don't have the range, because you're crappy-ass planes. Okay, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna send out some divisions. Great. Uh, one of the things, actually, I should do is find anyone who's not in an army. Now, most of these are going to be people who have been offered up to me. Wow, police units. Let's get back to you. So these infantry... I'm going to have you join this purple army that's going to be ready to move in to southern England once we've got a foothold. And police units. Oh, these are ones I actually built. Yeah. Well, we're still getting notice about sabotage in France, so join the French garrison, please. Who else we got here? Spanish. Lots of green people with no experience. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. I don't want to overload stuff too much. 
So we'll add you to there. And presumably everyone, yeah, everyone's going to move in there. We should have plenty of supply. Airwing with no mission. Oh, in southern England? Hang on. Who are you selecting? Over here. Oh, you're just standing by. Oh, oh, I just moved you and... Oh, fuck. I must have lost a carrier. That's what happens when you've got these uh, carrier ships that suddenly say they have no mission. It's because they've run away. See again here? Look, look at all the did last hit messages. It's not telling me that some ships have been sunk. But like, okay, the Aquila, for example. Do we see the Aquila in the list? Yeah, there. Yeah, we just lost it. What? Wow. That is that 2,000 naval bombardment people? Yeah, naval bombers, CV naval bombers, and close air support can also do naval bombardment and some more. Holy crap balls. Our ship's bombed. 15. Uh, we just got, like, kind of wiped out pretty heavily here. What the hell? It feels like we should have a million billion fighters out there protecting our ships. I thought they nerfed the naval bombardment. Maybe they gotta nerf it some more. Ew, that was... Holy shit, that was really bad. Now it's making me worried, like... Are we going to be able to gain control over this? At any point? Like, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to risk my, um... My fleets. I'm going to leave these guys together for now. I don't suppose there's, like, an admiral that can protect you from air bombardment. I don't think so. so I mean, we've got a level 5 admiral in this group. That's going to help. But yeah, our fleet just got obliterated through naval bombardment, despite the fact that I have 3,500... Okay, hold on. Hold on, my fighters are fighting for air superiority, which is often going to be good, but... We're going to need some anti-bombers. Ooh, you are really far away. Some people are on twin duties. Um, there we go. There, one more. Oh, also, everyone's set to not be suicidal, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They're on normal repair duties. Good. Now, where are you? You are far too far away. Move you there. I assume that's what they read. Yeah, Palmer, but you're you're moving as is. And right, your range is always gonna be crap because you're crappy planes. Okay, that's fine. Alright, training up the troops. I could plan the attack already, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer. How are we doing in Finland? He who dares wins. And what I should probably do is something like this. I'm going to go and delete their orders and tell them to halt whatever they're doing. I'm going to tell my tanks to move over here. Move to Oslo. And whenever you get there, go ahead and execute that plan. Hopefully you'll get more supplies down here as well. That's part of the dream. Yeah, remember, I don't think Sweden's officially capitulated yet, because I, I suspect most of this would have flipped. I mean, whenever a country capitulates, they tend to leave some stuff behind anyway. Just some resistance and whatnot. Alright, nothing, nothing. Oh, we killed an American convoy. Killed some more American convoys. Well, that's got to be helpful, because they are trying to get stuff over here. Are we doing any convoy raiding up here? No, let's do some of that. I have some submarines over here. Um, boom. I don't know if they'll be able to get there um, unimpeded, but let's go and try to get this submarine... I don't know. I was going to say flock, but wolf pack, submarine wolf pack, to do convoy raiding just off the Norwegian coast. 
very, very focused over here. But that, I'm betting, can get a lot of supply runs and help to starve out the, uh, the allied troops in Scandinavia. What do we got going on over here? Uh, yeah, again, okay, is this, is this a bug? Because clearly, shit's being killed over here. Because we had 15 subs. It's only showing one is sunk. But yeah. What the hell? They're killing more stuff than they are. Including bombing enemy ships. But how are we ever going to get some ships in the channel here? I mean, I suppose I could do a naval invasion somewhere else, but I'm assuming they could just move their planes over to defend. I guess I could act attack from multiple avenues simultaneously. But... Alright, more naval invasions, but that's never going to happen. What the hell do we do? So did we get any subs over here? Oh, they probably ran away because they got damaged, too. Or are they just gone? Because we only have one fleet here. And they're not here. This, like, I, I don't understand that. Did the fleet get sunk? If I'd gone through the entire list on the left-hand side, would it have told me that everything was gone? Despite the fact that it only showed one sub sunk and 11 on the surface. There's definitely something off with the um, with the naval bombardment missions. A, they might be too strong. I don't know, might be legitimate. But B, it doesn't make sense. All right, Peru. Um, it doesn't make sense that we don't get messages about them. The kill is a little closer. So we may as well put you in there. Normandy is about as close as you can get. So how are we ever going to invade across the channel? I guess the plan might have to become nuke, nuke, nuke. Because we can get air superiority. I mean, I don't know if we can get 100% air superiority. But I can probably throw all my fighters into southern England, get air superiority, and then presumably nuke London. Although it was in 1948 that, like, they, they put in a bit of a stopping point and... I think so. Building the hell out of strategic bombers. Building the hell out of jet fighters. We probably have plenty of these um, these extra bombers. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. I'm, I'm tempted. Oh, Naval Bomber 2? What? Build Naval Bomber 3. Jesus. And we've got some there. Oh, I switched you to a close air support. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Naval Bomber 3. And then some more over there. Which I think is okay, actually. In fact, I'm wondering about putting the Naval Bombers above... The fighters? But no, I mean, we don't really have much of a hint that there's ships going around here. It's just planes. So we really do need just a ridiculous number of fighters to... I don't know what. I guess these fighters could be set to all anti-bombardment. Especially right now. These old-ass fighters. Um, tell you what. You can just go there. So, hello. What? It's not responding. Quick. Is the game just really laggy right now? What's going on with you? There it is. Yeah, okay, it just wasn't updating. Um, yeah, so just a lot more anti-bomber stuff over the English Channel. 
Although we still need we still need enough fighters. We've got the air spear now. We need enough fighters to protect our own naval bombers if that comes up. Although again, right now I'm not seeing much in the way of ship activities. So, Battle of the English Channel. So those are our naval bombers, but nothing happened. But yeah, I don't know if we could ever move our ships out. Um, where's is this my naval experience? It is. Which ships have the most, like, anti-air? So, like, our heavy cruisers, for example. Do, do they do, do, do anti-air? No. Do destroyers? They do. So, let's add more anti-air to our destroyers. So, screen ships. We're going to make sure to finish this current run of destroyers. And then make sure to add destroyer mark 2. Destroyer mark 2. And deploy in Brittany. Alright. God damn it. I'm really starting to get concerned here, guys. Marines still training up. That's the attrition markers, by the way. It's not real attrition, it's training attrition. And my paratroopers are still training up as well. Yeah, so most of these are meaningless. They must, like, just spot a, a uh, convoy or something, but then fail to catch it. it. Must be what we're seeing there. So we have a little bit more anti-air with our fighters. Um, in Finland... Okay, you guys are moving. Good. And front line seems completely reasonable, and you're going to keep moving to Oslo. All right, good. Well, I mean, at least we're still pushing here. Fucking hell. What about the battleships? You don't have any anti-air either. What about light cruisers? Light cruisers do. They're slightly bigger versions of destroyers. So is that what we do? We just max out on that. I don't think I've got light cruiser tech. I do have the good destroyer tech. Uh, do light cruisers also have anti-sub stuff? No, they don't. Which, which seems to me as being perfectly fine. If we're not as worried about subs... Alright, what's our research looking like? Subsidy or carry roll. And then maybe we go and, and tech up our, our light cruiser stuff and see what we can do. Um, I mean, maybe I just, like, do a crazy invasion of the United States. I do have naval presence most of the way. I should probably just try it and see. So we're being told about potential naval invasions everywhere over here. Nothing has started that yet, though. But if I took a handful of destroyers, there we go, select you, and put you, this is going to seem a little weird, oh, you don't have the range, never mind. I have to probably, I guess we'd have to take, well, that's not an allied thing. I don't know what we do. Subsidiary carrier roll is done. Enemy sub detection. Capital ship armor might be nice. We need capital ship anti air, is what we need. But let's start researching up the light cruisers. We don't have any discounts for it, which is a bit annoying. But it seems like the sort of thing we need to do. We've got naval battle results to read over here. Oh, our nine destroyers. Getting some work done. Although now there's also a little bit more going on. I have you and you. Go there. Yeah, these fighters literally can't. Um, there's an airbase over here, right there. Excellent. Oh yeah, and I still have plenty of stuff going on here.
including allied ones. We'll park you in there. There you go. Because there's still going to be some naval skirmishes over here. I don't want to move my uh, ships over here because I'm worried the second they move out into the English Channel, they're just going to get sunk. And that's probably, you know, credited to the, the British radar. They can see me, so they respond right away, which is pretty good. More strategic bombers might be able to keep that completely flattened, actually. So we're not building any more um, fighters. And as a result, we have a shortfall right now. We do have some jet fighters. So what's going to start to have to happen is a lot of these old fighter wings, which is why they're using all the shit planes now, is I'm just going to disband a lot of these. They're using shit planes, and they're pretty weak. So by disbanding these, well, I could also do a merge, we are going to put some normal fighters back in reserves. But the idea is we're eventually going to disband all of our normal fighter wings and have them only be jet fighters. Which at least we're getting plenty of. Oh, now we're losing the destroyers. And this fight is still going on. But we've got some naval bombers coming in, hopefully to assist. And... Yeah... Yeah, that's looking all right. Oh, there we go. Take an Oslo. And then some, actually. Let's take a look. Is this? These are my tank dudes. I think what we're going to do is give you a new set of orders. I will give you a front line here and tell you to please grab the coast over here. And then we'll move up to Bergen. But they're probably getting really close to capitulating now. We must have most of the victory points. Are there any over here? Nope, no victory points on Gotland. And we do have um, just the Jalen here, but... Um, oh my god, I can't remember the name of that island. Need to play more EU4. Because it doesn't actually... It just It's just part of Jalen. And I can't see the name of this particular little state. Alright, that's fine. Um, no, that's really going to bother me. Oh my god! He's driving me crazy! I know this one! Hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm totally not lo loading up Google Maps on the other side. Holy shit. It's one of those things, like, have you ever tried to introduce someone to someone? And, like, someone you know really well, like a coworker, you totally know them. Um, or no. Um, and all of a sudden, your mind just goes blank as to their name. That's exactly what happened there. Alright, Sweden's capitulated. Again, technically a couple little pockets over here, but not much. Um, and our troops should be able to sweep over that very easily. In fact, this is going to leave a lot of isolated American troops that might be able to get bopped. The same thing will happen if we take the coast on the other side, though. So I'm going to be quite happy continuing to push up here with my tanks. Anyway, I think this episode's gone on long enough, so we're going to go and put a cut in here. Are we still doing this fight? Crazy. Um... Also, oh, I want to double check that my ships were all going to pop into... No, they're not. Into Brittany. Specifically there. No, 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 no. Good. Um, just build me one. And one. And then we'll focus on... Um, we've got more heavy cruisers down here, which is going to be fine. One battleship. And destroyers, and we'll start with the light cruisers soon. Alright, thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you next time.